Well, do you own a gun? Do you know about concealed carry? Firearms can be intimidating, especially for women. Whether you own one or not, you're invited to a Women in Guns educational program that's happening this Thursday. Yeah, Jake Tersoni is the head instructor for the Wisconsin Firearms Training, and Eric Shad is the member of the MBA Women's Council, and they're partnering up to bring you this very unique event. Thanks for being here, you guys. Thanks for having me. I think it's great. I think it's a really great conversation um, for people to start having it. And this class is something that's introductory for women whether or not they own or have considered owning a gun correct correct uh, the goal of the class is just to empower folks to empower women with that information about you know what does the law say about owning a gun about using deadly force um, storage methods uh, if you have children at home and different things like that so you can safely secure it but yet have it accessible just to give folks that information so they can make an informed decision and decide if they want to perform or uh, proceed further down the line with training and obtaining a permit. So a minimal investment on time and money will allow them to get that information and make that. And I think just the education is fantastic. Erica, I know you don't carry a gun, Correct. at least not right now. Um, why though um, do you think this is a good idea for women, whether they're considering carrying one or not? Mostly for education. It is a law. We should know what our laws are about. Um, how it pertains to us and to women everywhere. I talk to my friends often and we really don't know what you need to do to even gain access to be able to carry a firearm. Mm -hmm. So we decided that it was a good idea to, to put an educational course out there um, so that women can get informed and make an educated decision. I think that's a great point. You know, even if you have no desire or no intention of owning a firearm, of, of just learning more about what it means to have one and those who may be carrying one, why and how they've been trained and obtained their gun. Correct. It's I, a tremendous responsibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just the knowledge is empowering mm -hmm. in itself. Mm -hmm. You know, for, for people who maybe want some sort of alternative, I even asked you during the break, I'm like, can you own a taser, you know, taser gun? Are there alternatives to owning a firearm? There are alternatives to a firearm. Um, the most popular one is probably an electronic control device. Most familiar is the Taser brand name that we're most familiar with. Mm -hmm. Does um, that injure people? I'm just interested. It, if you tase someone? Once, once the power's off, it's done. The only thing that's left is a small hole from the barb, okay. and usually that'll cauterize itself. There's a barb on it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I picture it, you know, like some cartoon, like this right. is from, a, you know, I'm, I, I didn't even know. There's a barb on it. There's a barb on it that comes out. There's two probes that come out and create that electrical connection and complete that circuit um, with that particular brand. So, Eric but, and I are both gone. I know, <laughs> that. all of our eyes are, so you actually have to make connection with someone with a taser. It's not from a distance. Um, it's from a distance. Oh. Uh, the civilian version of the taser, I, I don't remember the exact footage, but the probes come out so there is a standoff distance so that you have an opportunity not to be close to them and it gives you a window of opportunity to escape. Mm -hmm. you know to call the police or what have mm -hmm. you but in wisconsin to carry that electronic control device you need a ccw permit the way our law is written but yes there are alternatives that's one of them another one not as effective would be pepper spray mm -hmm. so that's out there as well i own that but i, I know the statistics say oftentimes that can be turned against yep. you mm -hmm. yeah and that's and i think that's the tricky mm -hmm. part about it a lot of um women the, their first thought as it relates to um carrying a weapon is going to be concerned about it being turned on them just mm -hmm. like the, a taser or, or pepper spray but also children in the home yeah. and having i mean because there are so many accidental shootings mm -hmm. and, and do you get into that How how to safely um, have a weapon in the house, especially if there are children present? Absolutely. We'll talk about that a little bit on, on Thursday at our seminar. We get more in depth in it with our CCW certification class, but we provide ideas on methods to store your firearm so that it is accessible to you, but yet it's secure from your children if you have children in the home or children visiting, and you know, talk about methods to do that. Other things that we talk about are family safety plans. You know, things to think about to have that in place if you have children, mm -hmm. or maybe, you know, if you have a, an, an adult that you're caring for that's suffering from dementia or something like that, what mm -hmm. steps do you need to take to have that firearm safe but accessible? So there's mm -hmm. definitely options for that. Yeah, even during the break, you said there are things that can recognize your fingerprints, you know, mm -hmm. such things like that, so it truly is safe. Can you carry a firearm concealed anywhere? Because I feel like most places you go in public do have the, the sign up that says no firearms. You're correct. Um, 
you can't carry a firearm anywhere you go. Uh, private companies, private businesses, uh, private homeowners even can post their building so that you can't bring your firearm in there even if you have your CCW permit. Okay. Um, other places where you can never carry federal property, um, schools, K through 12 schools. Of course, we can't bring firearms into schools or on school property. There's, you know, different laws pertaining to that. Um, but there's a whole different, different set of instruction on this. This is where you can't carry a gun. This is what you need to know. Mm -hmm. This is what you need to do. If, let's say, you're out running errands, you carry concealed, and it's time to pick your kids up from school. Yeah. What do I do? Do I have to go home and take my gun all, you know, all the way back to my house, or is there a can I unload it and store it in a certain method so I can pick up my kids? Gotcha. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Very uh, good information. And I know the event is coming up, so we want to make sure everyone knows how they can attend Women and Guns. It's Thursday the 13th. This is Thursday, 5.30 to 6.45 at the Metropolitan Builders Association, which is right on Stone Ridge Drive in Waukesha. Now, here's how you can register. The cost is just $25. You can make a reservation by calling or emailing. Um, the phone number to call is on your screen. It's two. 6246-1122 and that's how they prefer that you make your reservation. Otherwise, you can visit the website, which is mbawomenscouncil.com for more information on this unique opportunity. Thanks so much for being here, and I think it's a great educational opportunity for all of us. I think so, too. Yeah. Thanks to both of you. Smart class.